Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today on behalf of Art Joya Sharing Facebook group for the AJOS ATC A Day 2022. Well, oh, that's a mouthful. All right, so I have these three peg sets that I've had for um, 15 years, something like that, and I really like them. So today, I know we're only supposed to do one um, coin, which I never do. Um, so I'm going to use these peg sets and I'm going to take a die cut that I tried to measure two and a half. I hope it's about the right size. And then I'm going to make these little wreaths onto the, this. I have to cut down these strips of paper that I found in my, um, you know, when I save the white paper, it's left over from other projects. Yeah, maybe I'll start at the bottom. Um, and I, can I put this on here? Let me do this first. No, okay, so we obviously have the wrong equipment. Let us go and exchange. Ta-da, magic. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this. Now I don't have to cut down my paper. Yay. All right, so we have the cuddle bug in place. Then we need the big fat A board. We need a C board, which is this one. And then we'll use one of the Bs. I think that's how it's supposed to go. You know, I haven't done this in so long. Uh, paper, paper. I'm going to have to push this through three times because I don't have three of these. Let's see if this thing works. Well, I'll be. I always like to do it twice because I'm never sure if I have this right. And there it is. Yay! Okay, so let me cut two more of these. Okay, so these peg stamps are by rubberstamptapestry.com. I bought them in um, Eau Claire, Wisconsin many years ago. This one was $22.40. This one was $10. This one was $12. This one has, I think, the most pegs in it. Anyway, I really like these peg stamps. You can put them anywhere you want, use any colors you want basically like any other kind of stamp. It's just that they're on wooden pegs and they're very small. Very small. And they're red rubber, which I really like because I think the impressions from red rubber are much better. So here's these. Oh, and something else cool. This right here. Oh, I've had them since 2008. There you go. <laughs> rubber stamp tapestry. All right. So what's really cool about these stamps is they give you the top of the stamp or where the, actually it's the bottom of the stamp is what it is because this one's an apple and the top of the apple's up here. So they give you the bottom and that's what that line is for. So when you stamp it, you know this is the bottom. And you can look because what they've done is, whoops, let me put this this way. They put a picture that corresponds with this line on the end of the stamp. So you know that when you stamp, your apple is the stem up and like so on and so forth. This one has it for the pear and the pear is, stam is stamped on the bottom and there's that line right here that corresponds with the bottom. So when you're stamping, you don't have to guess and go, oh my gosh, did I get it on there right? Oh, you did because there it is right there. This one is a vine and it has the line going up here that shows you the bottom of the vine. And there it is right there, the vine. Okay, so this is this is going to be my first one. All right, so I have no plan, peeps. <laughs> I'm just uh, winging it here. I'm waiting for another video to render, and I thought I would do this while that's going on. So on and so forth. Okay, so let me cut this off while I pick my colors. So I have these little refrigerator type clear containers that contain all my me memento teardrops. 
and I like these colors. I don't have as big a variety of colors in the larger stamp pads, so these come in handy to fill in the gaps. So I think I'm just going to use these today because I really like them. All right, and I'm going to use this picture as a guide about what I should do. And I think the first thing they did on this, this is a fruit wreath. I think the first thing they did on this one is put very light stamping of leaves. So let me look for that. Let's see, this is a leaf. This is a smaller version of the leaf. What do we have here? This is an apple. This is grapes. This is the pear. This is a, leaf, a very small leaf. And this is a, oh, that's the little viney looking thing. All right, so we're gonna start with these three first. And I need a piece of paper to stamp off on so I lessen the color. I'll move the fruit over because I think the fruit will be d done in a, a darker color. So I have a new sprout. This one is pear tart. And I think the other two are too dark. So let's try these. Do I have a lighter one? Pear tart, cactus green, Olympia green. Nope. Okay. So we might have to use this. Wait. Oh, wait. Can we use this one? Oh, yep. This one is dandelion. Let me see what this one is. And this one is cantaloupe. Let's use the dandelion and I'll do a light stamping on that one. All right, so let's start with new sprout. And we'll lay down the larger leaves first. So this is the, I hope this is, this is the larger one. Okay. I don't know, it seems too light to me, but Let's just randomly stamp it. Oh, it's very light. Ooh, that's way too light. So I guess I don't need to stamp off on it because there it is. It's very light. Alrighty then. So in order for me to know that I, it, you know, they're kind of going in that circle is to do it where I see the line is on the back side. Whoops, what a mess. <laughs> now I know it's gonna be on the side there we go. And then I'll turn it so that I know the line's on that side. So that's very symmetrical, but there we go. All right, so then the next color is, oh, that was pear tart. This one's new sprout. So what is this one? That's the viney thing so let's do this tiny leaf here and I'm not gonna stamp it off because it seems like this is really light already yep it is and it's almost the exact same color as what I've already stamped I'm just twirling it around I don't really care now I don't want to line it it doesn't matter if I line it up I guess So then I'm going to do what is this one dandelion with the itty bitty. Oops. And let's see what we got going here. Oh, okay. It's a nice soft yellow. And I don't want anything too dark because the fruit, I think, will not show up very well if I do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not gonna be really rocket science here. I think this is gonna be pretty easy. There we go, yeah, random, sorta. Of. <laughs> All right, so that's those. Now I want to do the fruit, so I have the uh, grape jelly for the grapes. That was a stretch, wasn't it? 
Oops, they put that on last. Okay, so we'll save this one for this last. What went next? Um, they did this little squiggle thing. So let's do this in a brown, which is rich cocoa. Nope, let's not do. Uh, yeah, uh, no, let's not. Let's do this in, what's MD? Bamboo leaves. This was meant to be put with the grapes. And I'm sp this is not really random, is it? All right, let's put that like that. That's enough of that. So that's this one. I'm trying to put the things I've already stamped together with the colors I used. All right, so we want to do the apple, which is ladybug. There's the apple and the pear. Let's do the apple. No, it's not going to hurt it to... Oh yeah, it's very light. Okay. Guess I need to press down a little bit more. There's the apple. Oops, these keep flopping over. Okay, there's that. There's the apples. Then I want to do the pears, and I will save that for the darker yellow. This is cantaloupe. Where's the pear? Here it is. Oh, they did a green pear. Well, guess what? We're not going to do it all wet way. Oh, you can barely see it if I don't. Okay, so I guess we do need to do a green for the pear. So let's put this back. And let's see what we have here. Cottage Ivy. All right. Oh, my goodness. What a difference that makes, huh? Now we're going to do the grapes, which I am very excited about doing. Oh, I did it backwards. Pooey. Well, now this is the top. <laughs> For Pete's sake. Oh, it did it at the top of the grapes. Okay, so I didn't look look at the end here so let's do that there and it's backwards again they stamped it backwards this let me see this is the top of the grapes right here where this is but they stamped it bass backwards there okay see now it's right side up Let's put this dingly dangly right there. How many grapes do they have on here? They just have two grapes. Two, that's it. Okay. I got four. All right, so let's do some covering up and add more leaves to this. So I want to add the little <coughs> tiny leaf. <coughs> Here we go.
Okay, let me just give you a little tip. It is really annoying to keep putting this thing right here in and out and in and out. So, what I did was I cut down what wasn't necessary and I took a tape runner and I taped it to the outside. That way I still know what my stamps are. I mean, I know what my stamps are, but I just am tired of trying to put that silly piece of paper in and out of my um, can, the plastic here. And I don't want to not use the plastic. So here we go. So now I can still see my stuff. I don't have to ram that thing back in there. And it's just easy. It's easier for me this way. Alright, in the back of this, all it shows you is what each one of your stamps are. Well, kind of all you have to do is look at the tops of them to know, just saying. <laughs> Alright, so my second circle, I'm going to do a sewing. These are sewing pegs. This is a pair of scissors. This is a safety pin. Safety pin scissors, safety pin. This is a doily. This is a heart doily. And this is a button. So this is their prompt. Isn't that cute? So I gotta try to do all that on here. Okay, so this is the third and last um, coin ATC, and this is what this one looks like.
So I cut out as much as I could without butchering it, at least too badly. Here is the uh, plant one, the lilac, and this is called Ginger Hearts. This is the, that's the name of the peg set. This one for the sewing is called Vintage Sewing Basket. And then the first one I did is called Fruit Wreath. Oh, duh, oh okay. <laughs> what a good name. All right, so here they are. I will take individual pictures and post them at the end of the video, so don't stop once my voice stops. Keep going.